What a beautiful day for talking to the world on YouTube. Oh, isn't it lovely? There it is. The view today. Very nice. Another beautiful summer day here in the UK. And we are having a long weekend as well because there is a public holiday on Monday. So lots of people are enjoying their time off over the next couple of days. And well I suppose I should reveal myself yes I am back again and today you will see that the camera has been repaired because we had some problems yesterday so here we go again hi everybody this is Mr Duncan in England how are you today are you okay I hope so are you happy well I hope you are happy today because it's the weekend and everything is super duper I hope you are in a good mood. I'm back again. Yes, I was here yesterday and I'm back again today. You can catch me twice over the weekend. And there you can see the times on Saturday, 12 midday UK time. And of course, today I am here from 2 p.m. UK time, which is happening right now. So here we go again. I hope you are having a good weekend. It is absolutely brilliant here. We are having the most wonderful weekend. It is a public holiday on Monday. So a lot of people are enjoying the long weekend. And can you hear that? There isn't a sound around. It's incredible. There isn't a single sound anywhere. Everyone has either gone away somewhere nice or they are all relaxing in their garden. So it would appear that most people are taking it easy today. I might be the only person in England working at the moment. I might be the only man in the UK who is actually doing some work on this Sunday afternoon. So we are live just to prove it. Hello. It is just seven minutes past two o'clock on a Sunday the 25th of August so next Saturday we will be saying goodbye to August and then we will enter September already I can't I, I really can't believe to be honest with you I can't believe it I can't believe how fast this year is actually going I really can't oh we have a lot of people already on the live chat. I've just noticed I can see right in front of me on my screen. I have quite a few people already waiting for their messages to be read out. Yes, not only can you watch this, but you can also join in on the live chat. And for those who are learning English as a second language, maybe this is your first time here. Don't forget. If you press C on your keyboard, don't forget you can actually get live captions. There are live captions on YouTube right now. Isn't it amazing? There are so many wonderful things that have been invented over the years that help us out in our day to day lives. And I thought today it would be fun to talk about things that have helped us now they can be any type of invention an invention something that has been invented created to make our lives easier my life and also your life as well so today we are talking about inventions things that have been created things that have been invented to make our lives easier i suppose i'm going to use something as an example so this is just an example of something that makes our lives easier especially when we want to repair something or when we want to build something there we go so that is the first thing that i want to show you today something that i think is amazing now i wonder i wonder how this became to be a thing that we use nowadays I wonder who invented the screwdriver there it is so this is called a screwdriver and it's very useful for screwing things into wood 
or maybe into metal or maybe into a hole that has been made or of course you can make a new hole using one of these with a screw so I think this is an amazing little tool it is a very useful thing screwdriver screwdriver and there are many different types of screwdriver I know what someone is going to say I know someone out there is thinking right now I know what you're thinking you're thinking Mr Duncan there is also a drink called a screwdriver and you would be right to say that yes there is so this is one of my little favorite tools one of one of the best inventions ever invented to make our lives easier so that is one of the things I'm going to talk about today maybe you have your own maybe you have your own favorite device or maybe your own favorite tool that you use every day I will be showing you some more of these later on so please stick around do not go away so I did mention the live chat but I haven't said hello to anyone yet so I'm going to put that right hello to Jimmy from Hong Kong hi it's Sunday again it is a fun day thank you Jimmy watching in Hong Kong you are first on today's live stream so I suppose I should give you a round of applause shall I okay congratulations to Jimmy watching in Hong Kong who is first on today's live chat blue thunder is here watching on the other side of the pond <laughs> also Martha is here hello Martha hello everyone from Martha nice to see you here as well Kyber is here hello Kyber also Chris Morales hello to you Olga hello Olga nice to see you back with us again now I know there might be a couple of people missing today a couple of my regular viewers I know that Luis Mendez is not here today so he is doing something family related so Luis Mendez won't be here today I haven't seen Belarusia now can I just say I didn't notice yesterday on the live chat but I did see it later when I watched it again I did notice that Belarusia had mentioned that her mother was back in hospital so can I send my best wishes to Belarusia and I hope your mother is feeling comfortable at the moment there are some interesting names right here now on the live chat oh I think some of these people might be new viewers if it is your first time here don't forget to tell me say Mr Duncan it's my first time here Ty Din says it is now after 10 o'clock it is coming up to 10 15 at night in Japan very late there so a big hello to Ty Din talking of Japan I was looking through some of my old letters the other day and I found a very interesting letter from someone in Japan and it was a person that I actually met on a flight to Malaysia and during that flight he was actually now the person in question was a male and he was actually a Japanese television presenter he was actually on Japanese TV and he was making a short video documentary of his flight and guess who was sitting next to him can you guess who was sitting next to him <laughs> yes it was me I was sitting next to him whether that was a good thing or a bad thing I'm not sure but we enjoyed the flight together also he did some things on video and he recorded me as well we were doing some silly things on the plane much to the annoyance of other people on the flight I think one or two people weren't very happy that we were making a bit of noise on the plane so I did meet someone from Japan <clears throat> excuse me if my voice breaks today but I, I've got a bit of a strange tickly throat today 
so please bear with me so yes I did meet some Hattori Hattori Hitosho was his name and I, I, I found a lovely letter that he'd written to me much later and apparently I had been on Japanese television with him so some of the things that he filmed on the plane he actually used in his little documentary and apparently I was in it so I can safely say that I've been on Japanese television yeah. <laughs> not many people can say that <laughs> Martha hello Martha once again Hiroko Tani says hello from Malaysia a big hello to Malaysia I know your country very well Yuki is here as well hello Yuki nice to see you here Yuki Tanaka that sounds Japanese as well I wonder I'm wondering if there are many people in Japan watching right now I think so Chris says hello also we also have blues bird hello blues bird how are you today also we have Thomas hello mr. Duncan and everyone hello to Mula Mula channel hello mr. Duncan my name is Dacia Mula and I am from Balok Balochistan I am learning English from you you are the best teacher for me I really love you so much I never miss your live streams thank you Mula it's very kind of you to join me today thank you very much and I hope I pronounce the place where you live correctly because I think I might have got it wrong I might have said it wrong for which I apologize Mika hello Mika hello I've just come back last night from three days in Tohoku or Tohoku Tohoku I don't know where that is apparently it is in the northern part of Japan I seem to be mentioning Japan quite a lot today hello also to Hatis and a big hi to Caesar hello Caesar hail Caesar <laughs> yes I'm sure you get that all the time hello also to Julie G and hello to Beatrice as well nice to see you here at the moment I am being attacked by insects there are flies big flies small flies buzzing flies there are bees there are wasps all flying around me <laughs> so I hope I don't get stung during today's live stream Beatrice hello Mr Duncan nice to see you happy Sunday I'm having a super day because the weather is fantastic and it is so quiet here today I think most people have decided to rest and take it easy the only thing I can hear behind me you might be able to hear it in the distance there is a farmer and he is actually harvesting his field at the moment in fact if we have a look here we might actually have some harvest shots would you like to see some harvest shots so there you can see one of the the many wheat fields near my house and yes it is harvest time here in the UK so lots of people at the moment lots of farmers gathering in their crops and there you can see on the screen right now in the distance you can see a combine harvester gathering now I think that is actually a wheat field so I think that is actually wheat growing in that field and you can see in the distance something called a combine harvester a very useful piece of machinery now I was talking about useful things earlier and I think for a farmer a combine harvester is a very useful thing indeed I think so so there you can see in the distance some of the harvest being gathered and I think today is a brilliant day for doing it because the Sun is out everything is very dry it is a very dry day so I think that farmer is actually choosing a very good time to harvest his crop when we say crop we mean the things that are growing in the field so crop can be a noun or a verb in fact 
and there you can see one of the tractors and what the tractor is doing there it is actually turning what is left in the field into straw oh look at that a beautiful view looking towards the sunset and there in the foreground you can see a bale of straw and there I am trying my best to use all my strength to push this bale of straw <laughs> I'm not doing a very good job because between you and me I'm not very strong look at my face <laughs> I'm really straining there steady Mr Duncan you might injure yourself and once again you can see the beautiful wheat field being harvested by the combine harvester and there it is look at that some beautiful wheat waiting to be reaped so when you reap it means that you collect the crop you reap and there I am sitting on some bales of hay so some people say hay some people say straw so I think actually they are actually straw bales they are bales of straw so I hope you enjoyed that something interesting to look at today I hope that was interesting for you and if you have just joined me this is live English from England the birthplace of the English language it's true hello Khalil nice to see you here as well Chris I have a warm fuzzy feeling me too I think it must be the weather either that or maybe a fly has gone up my shorts I don't know hello also to Haytham or Haytham hello Mr Duncan how are you I'm okay for this weekend I've had a lovely weekend hello to the the Lego boy in Australia I am <laughs> I am the Lego boy of Oz I am Vietnamese and I'm living in Australia oh I was right nice to watch you live my husband and my son really enjoy watching your videos a lot thank you to the Lego boy in Australia and I have a feeling all of your family are watching in fact I think you are the mother of the Lego boy I haven't seen you here before I don't recognize that name on the live stream so maybe it is your first time saying hello Muhammad Atif says where is Mr. Steve now you might see Mr. Steve later on I'm not sure I don't know what he's doing because today he's been very quiet so I'm not sure what Steve is doing at the moment but we might see Mr. Steve later on we might I'm not sure yet what is the weather like in England it is glorious today I think the temperature today is about 27 maybe 28 degrees so it is a beautiful August day there is a gentle summer breeze blowing by everything is lovely even my lovely little sunflower is looking happy today aren't you yes you are so I have my little sunflower waving to you all as well ah Belarusia nice to see you back okay I didn't see you earlier uh, can I send my best wishes to your mother Yuki says how is the weather the weather is great a lot of people asking about the weather it is a super day today the only problem is I'm wearing my shorts and some of the flies are biting <laughs> and they're biting in some very strange places they are Tran Kuang says hello Mr Duncan nice to meet you great to see you here as well Saturino I haven't seen you for a while Saturino nice to see you I do like sunflowers they are my favorite because the sunflower has the Sun's color and is very tall well this particular sunflower is actually very small it's a small sunflower but I think it's lovely do you remember in the 1980s there, there was a toy 
that you could buy and it was a little flower and it would dance when you played music edu it used to dance like that it would dance to the music do you remember they should come back they should they were really good fun hello to alan gear nice to see you all here today yes screwdriver i think a screwdriver is a very useful tool but what is your favorite thing what is your favorite useful thing it can be anything it could be a tool or maybe a piece of technology something to help you in your day-to-day -day life so if there's something that helps you in your day-to-day -day life and if it happens to be your favorite thing then tell me what it is hello also to TS nice to see you back TS hello and a big hi to Indonesia Jamelia hello Jamelia hello Mr Duncan what wonderful weather you're having and what a lovely garden you have thank you Jamelia yes it's very nice Mr Steve has been a very busy man over the past few days Yuki Yuki Tanaka says does anyone remember a music player called an MD music player I still have one I still have a mini disc player now the mini disc player was a brilliant contraption it was a player but it would play very small CDs and the CD would be inside a case and you would put the mini disc into the player so yes I still use mini discs I don't know if anyone else does but yes I still use mini discs MD as they call them so a mini disc is something that not many people use nowadays because most people now have mobile phones or mp3 players but yes I still have my mini disc player Mm, I still have it I think it's a Sony because Sony used to make mini disc players hello Jimmy I've just received the applause you certainly have congratulations once again for being first first on the live stream Jao Ramalo says hello Mr Duncan your introduction song sounds very Brazilian yes shall we have a little bit of the song that I play at the start okay let's see if this will work is it there <laughs> I'm having a slight problem with my computer today was that it Ah, there it is So yes that piece of music is that what you mean yes it does sound very very Brazilian it has a little bit of a salsa beat I think so hello from Azerbaijan to Gula world you are welcome thanks for joining me today also Belarusia once again saying hello to everyone on the live stream hello to Asma who is watching in Egypt nice to see you as well also Irene I am here Mr Duncan as usual nice to see you back David Denrico says hello Mr Duncan it's a great pleasure to be with you here today good Sunday to you and also to you as well apparently it is now 6 30 6 30 in Pakistan so you are slightly ahead of us in Pakistan Jao Ramalo says oh I think I've read that one already something very strange is happening to the live chat it keeps going back Tu fam says I love to learn English from you even though I would rather speak American <laughs> well when we say American you mean the accent so American English when spoken is just the accent so there is only one English language never forget that there is only one English language so the root of all 
the types of English spoken is the same. However, when we talk about British English and American English, we often mean the accent. So maybe the accent, the dialect, the way th words are used, but the root of all of those accents is English. There is only one English. Fatima says, hello, Mr. Duncan. I have watched you for three years. Thanks a lot for that. I wonder now this this is something I might do next week or later on. I wonder who has been watching me the longest. So we might do that next week. So how many years have you been watching? You can tell me next weekend. Sura says hello from Iraq. Hello, Iraq. Nice to see you here again. I am showing you some useful things today. One useful thing. Don't forget, you can press this on your keyboard and you can have live captions. Isn't that incredible? So thank you once again to YouTube for supplying some live captions for my live stream. Isn't that nice? Just for me. Very, very kind. Very kind of you indeed. So it's a summer day and a lot of people do things in a certain way on a day like this. And I thought it would be interesting to show you something that a lot of people do here during a hot day. They will often have a barbecue. Barbecue. So there you can see the word there. Barbecue. Or sometimes people will abbreviate that word and they will just call it barbecue. B-B-Q. So quite often you will see this written down. But what it actually means is this. It means barbecue. So maybe you will receive an invitation to go to a barbecue and you will see this written on the invitation. So that's what it means. When you see this, it actually means this. It means barbecue. And a lot of people like to have barbecues at this time of year. It is something that is very popular. Oh, there you can see, look, there is a barbecue, a very typical barbecue. And quite often you will take it into your garden. You will put it in the corner of the garden and then you will have lots of guests. They will come round and you will cook some food for them over hot coal. So first of all, you will heat up the coal and then you will serve some barbecue food. Here's another picture. Oh, look at that. Now that looks very delicious. There is a selection of meat and also vegetable kebabs. I think they look like kebabs. The things with the sticks going through them. They are kebabs. But also you can see some meat as well. Of course, these days, some people are vegetarian. So quite often they will have vegetables instead of meat. And there you can see some lovely vegetable kebabs. They are roasting on the barbecue. So barbecues are quite popular in the UK and maybe where you are as well. Apparently, the word barbecue is now if memory serves me correct I think it's Spanish I think the word barbecue actually is Spanish I think it means something that you hang things from to dry out or to cook and I think also barbecue used to be a word that meant bed as well now I might be wrong there but I think if I remember correctly from my school days <laughs> I think the word barbecue is Spanish if I'm wrong I'm sure someone will tell me so there you can see I hope you enjoyed that I don't know about you but that has made me feel very hungry hello also to Nidia hello Nidia Nidia is watching at the moment in Costa Rica nice to see you here today Anna is here hello Anna your garden is astonishing 
astonishing. If something is astonishing, it means that it makes you feel very surprised or amazed. Astonishing. Something is astonishing. You can feel astonished. I am astonished by your garden. Your garden is astonishing. So thank you very much. Yes, I am a lucky man. I never forget that. Uh, I do realize that sometimes I am lucky. Some might say privileged. I don't know. I suppose it depends who you speak to. Josiana says hello. Hello to Josiana. Quite a lot of new people watching today. I think so. Jungkook. Hello, Jungkook. Jion says, I like you very much. Thank you very much. And it's kind of you to say so. Hello also to Amtul Najan Koa. Where are you from, Mr. Duncan? At the moment, I am talking to you live from England. So at 24 minutes away from three o'clock in the afternoon here in the UK, I'm now talking to you live live is live can be would you like to have a look at the view so there is the view right now looking into the distance yes that is a live view right now and you can see it is absolutely beautiful also it is very quiet today it is so quiet here i can't believe how peaceful everything is a lot of people are having a long weekend so on Monday there is actually a public holiday so a lot of people are taking a very long weekend they are taking advantage of this beautiful weather I think so so that's probably the reason why hello Mavi watching in Turkey hello to you as well nice to see you here Amtel is here also Chris and can you tell me the difference? Oh, this is an interesting one. Can you tell me the difference? Or what are the biggest differences between British and American English? Well, I think I might have answered that question already. There is no real difference between the root English. So the root of American and British English is the same. There are some slight grammatical differences there are definitely some differences between the spellings of words so I think that probably probably is the most the most noticeable difference between British and American English but as I mentioned earlier there is only one English language so American English and British English are basically the same language the differences are spelling of some words and also the accents when English is being spoken I hope I've cleared that up your view is beautiful thank you Amtel that's very kind Mika says I really must check that video which you have been which you were in on Japanese TV now it was many years ago it was I think it was about 1996 1997 so it was actually a very long time ago but his name is Hitaro Hitoshi was his name and apparently he was very well known on Japanese TV <laughs> and I was on Japanese TV as well I can't believe it so I've been on Chinese TV and I've also been on Japanese TV as well hello to to fam thank you very much I have a feeling you are watching in Vietnam I know I have a lot of people watching there Raul or Raul says in Argentina we harvest the wheat at the end of winter that's very interesting so at the moment here in the UK many farmers are gathering their crops they are harvesting the wheat they are harvesting their crops hello from Egypt Mohammed Hussein says hello I wish you made videos every day 
well I wish I could as well but the problem is it takes too much time so I wish I could come on and talk to you every single day but unfortunately I can't however you can of course keep in touch with me by contacting me on Facebook or maybe you can send me an email as well or to help my work continue forever and ever you can make a donation on PayPal as well so if you'd like to make a donation to to help my work continue forever so if I get some donations maybe I can actually do more live streams and make more lessons so everything I do I give for free it doesn't cost you anything maybe now and again you might see the occasional advertisement but that also helps me in a very small way so if you want to make a donation you are more than welcome to and maybe one day I will be able to do the live streams every day imagine that imagine if I could come on every day and do a live stream Asma Khan asks Mr Duncan are you a foodie I would say that I am a fan of food I do like eating sometimes I eat too much I was in Paris a few weeks ago Mr Steve's company gave us a holiday and we spent a few days in Paris and some of the food there was amazing I, I think it was safe to say maybe some of the best food that I've ever eaten hello I am my name is yummy hello yummy and I am watching in India hello to India is it your first time watching today please let me know can you please tell my wife hello Albina Kanivek or Kaniv Kanivjek Albina Kanivek can you say hello to my wife so hello hello to Albina to Tham says I'm extremely happy even on cloud nine every time you respond to my comments thank you very much the only thing I always worry about is that I mispronounce your name so I do apologize for that apparently Belarusia I think Belarusia's mother is actually celebrating her birthday today is that true how did I miss that I didn't see that on the live chat <laughs> Yuki says the sounds of the birds behind you reminds me of a wooden clock from which a cute bird will come out cuckoo 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 like that I think you mean a cuckoo clock so a cuckoo clock so yes maybe some of the sounds behind me sound a little bit like a cuckoo clock <laughs> cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. it is coming up to three o'clock 15 minutes away from boop, 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 three o'clock hello also to Mohammed Mohammedi says hello Mr Duncan and good afternoon to you shall we have a look at another useful thing we're talking about useful inventions useful things things that help you in your day-to-day -day life and they can be small things maybe something that you see quite often around you so let's have a look at something else another thing that I find very useful especially when I'm preparing my scripts there you go something very useful something useful for cutting when you want to cut something or when you want to trim something you can use a pair of scissors scissors I love this word by the way scissors now it is very easy to get this word wrong when you spell it so don't forget there are two two s's in the middle of scissors and of course there is also a c as well 
So this is a word that a lot of people have difficulty spelling. They often spell it wrong because it has the little C there and also double S. In fact, there are one, two, three, four S's in scissors. So a pair of scissors, very useful for cutting things. You might want to trim something. You might want to make something smaller. So you will cut. You will trim. You will make something smaller. So we often describe these as a pair of scissors. So this is often described as a pair of scissors. Pair of scissors. And the reason why I love scissors so much is because they are very useful. There, that's better. I've made that better now. It doesn't take up so much room on the screen. So you can see my lovely face. Scissors. Another wonderful, useful, daily invention. Something that you can use every day. A very useful tool. Scissors. It is live English in the garden. <laughs> you are a facetious person. I'm not sure if I'm facetious. That is very, very strange description of me. I've been called many, many things in my time. I'm not sure about facetious. <laughs> Guadeloupe. Hello to Guadeloupe. Hello to two fam. Yes, you can say a pair of scissors, but we don't say two scissors. We don't say two scissors. We say a pair of scissors. So this is one pair of scissors. One pair of scissors. So when we talk about scissor, we are actually talking about the thing that cuts. So that's why we say a pair of scissors because there are two blades the thing that cuts is called a blade and a pair of scissors has two blades a pair of scissors I really hope that was helpful <laughs> Mr Duncan you just cropped the sign yes you can crop something crop means cut so if you want to make something smaller, you can crop something. So I suppose you could say that I was cropping that piece of paper to make it smaller. Crop is a very useful word. So crop can mean something that grows in a field, maybe wheat. So we can describe that generally as crop. And you can cut something. You can cut something. You can crop something so that can also be a verb and a noun Mahmood Dawood says Mr Duncan how are you today I hope you are happy and I hope so a big hello to Tanta Tanta in Egypt I know I have a lot of people watching in Egypt someone asked yesterday they asked, Mr. Duncan, you are wearing a necklace. What does the necklace mean? I've never seen you wear a necklace before. Now, I can tell you now, many years ago, I used to wear necklaces all the time. And this is one of my old necklaces. So this particular necklace is probably around 20, maybe 25 years old. So this is something that I bought many years ago in the 1990s so I found them the other day I was looking through lots of old photographs and old letters and I found this necklace as well so I thought it would be nice to wear on one of my live streams so that's why I'm doing it and also it is very relevant for today because this is I think this is Aztec and on this necklace you might not be able to see it but there is a little sun on the necklace so you can see 
the sun and also some hieroglyphics as well so this is actually I think it's based on some Aztec design but it is related to the Sun can you believe it it's actually related to the Sun so that's why I'm wearing it today and also yesterday is mr. Steve your best friend he certainly is mr. Steve is my best friend he is my soulmate he is the person that I go to when I have a problem and also he's a person I go to when I want a good time I want to have a laugh and a party and a joke how adorable and ancient your necklace is so this isn't this isn't ancient <laughs> it's only about 25 years old but I know what you mean but the design is ancient it is a very old design mr. Duncan I want to improve my English I want to be able to enroll in university thank you Mahmood for that well you are in the right place because listening to me will help you to improve your listening and also to help you understand words as well don't forget you can also see the subtitles as well and you can watch them live your necklace makes you look younger does it really oh I, I never thought about that really <laughs> I used to wear this when I was young so I used to wear this about 25 years ago this necklace can you believe it Belarusia is very busy at the moment mr. Duncan I am watching your live stream whilst sewing my trousers I'm actually using a pair of scissors right now and I'm also using a needle and thread so you use a needle and a piece of thread to repair something if you want to repair maybe an item of clothing that has been torn or damaged you can sew you can sew you can stitch you can repair the tear also you use a needle and thread to to put a button on maybe a shirt or a coat I have read about the Aztecs mr. Duncan and I've also watched a full documentary about them yes as I understand it this particular necklace is based on Aztec design Hossein says mr. Duncan please read my chat words I will read them right now in fact I have read them I've read them now I love the interaction and good humor of both you and mr. Duncan uh, and mr. Steve thank you very much mr. Steve might be making an appearance today he might be coming on to the live stream we will have to wait and see so it's been a lovely couple of days we've had some lovely lovely views also there is something happening in the garden as well this time of year we often get lots of damsons on the damson tree and look at that there it is the damson cam now we had this last year and we're having it again this year so there you can see in my garden at the moment there are lots of lovely damsons growing on the the damson tree at the back of the house and it looks as if they are growing quite nicely at the moment so there you can see the damson tree we don't have many fruit trees here to be honest we only have a couple of fruit trees we have some plums <laughs> well we used to have them and then mr. Steve chopped it down <laughs> so we used to have a plum tree but a few weeks ago mr. Steve decided to chop the plum tree down we also have apples growing in the garden there is a big apple tree and as I mentioned already we also have some damsons as well and there you can see the damsons on the tree 
and it looks as if they are growing quite nicely at the moment so there is the damson tree at the back of the house so mr steve will often pick the damsons and then he will make some jam so that is something that steve will be doing over the next couple of weeks the seasons of the damson jam yum yum i think so thank you yuki for that yes i do like damson jam very much hello to vietnam i am from vietnam says tan fam do you know vietnam yes i do i know vietnam i have a lot of people watching there in fact many of my subscribers are actually from vietnam Tu fam asks should i speak with an american accent or a, a british accent it's up to you it's up to you i think we will be able to understand you <laughs> so yes british people can understand the american accent so you don't have to worry about that so don't worry mr duncan is the king of the damson no i'm not mr steve is the king of the damsons because he makes delicious damson jam every year so yes i must admit i do like mr steve's damson jam he makes lovely damson jam i've also noticed that the the captions are not showing the word damson it says something else <laughs> it says dams on damson one word damson is the damson the same as a plum asks guadalupe no no they are very different a damson is quite small and it, it can taste very bitter it can taste quite sour plums are normally larger so a damson is small a plum is normally much larger so i hope that helps what is a damson a damson is a kind of small grape so it looks like a grape it looks like a purple grape however they are larger than a grape but smaller than a plum and they make delicious jam they really do they're lovely in jam <gasps> I can learn English with you thanks to my Wi-Fi. I am now watching on my mobile phone internet and also Wi-Fi. A very good invention. I think so. We'll be talking about technology a little bit later on because there are many, <laughs> too many to mention. There are some great forms of technology that allow us all to live our day-to-day -day lives. So, yes, I think you're right wi-fi and also internet connection through cables or wires and of course you can have satellite internet as well so if you live in a very remote area far away from everyone you can actually get the internet from a satellite as well so yes i agree with you wi-fi internet wi-fi connection on your mobile phone great invention i think so i like your necklace i am from morocco do you know morocco yes i know morocco very well there, there, there is some lovely food in morocco i've never been there but morocco is a very popular place for people to visit something very exotic garden feeds the soul hello to you i haven't seen you for a long time hi mr duncan have you been to bristol next year i am going to bristol for two months in order to brush up on my english or brush up my english if you brush up it means you practice with the view of improving so if you want to improve something by practicing we can say brush up it is time to brush up your english it is time to brush up 
your English pronunciation brush up you improve by practicing practicing brush up so maybe something that you learnt in the past that you've almost forgotten about you might have to practice doing it again you can brush up brush up I like it Mika asks have you ever made rhubarb jam now rhubarb is something that grows in the UK at certain times of the year Mr. Steve likes rhubarb I don't like rhubarb it's too bitter it's very sour so I'm not very keen on rhubarb but Mr. Steve likes it and one of my neighbors who lives nearby her name is Martha and she sometimes gives us some of the rhubarb from her garden which is very kind don't you think can you recommend some ways to learn new words on the internet well one of the things you can do is this the thing you are doing now so you can watch YouTube videos you can listen to what is being said you can also read the subtitles as well on the screen so there are many ways of learning just from watching this the thing you are watching right now is very helpful do you support any football clubs I don't support football I don't really have any interest in football to be honest I'm not a sports person I'm not a person who follows sport to be honest Mr. Duncan, I would like to invite you to make a live video from Luxor in Egypt. A very interesting place and very scenic. So I think, yes, that would be amazing. Imagine that. Imagine if I did a live stream from Egypt standing in front of the ancient pyramids. Apparently in Vietnam, it is pouring with rain oh dear that's not very nice I'm sorry to hear that I will send you some of our sunshine is that a good idea I hope so Mr Duncan I like your necklace I am from Morocco yes I do know Morocco as I mentioned earlier I know Morocco I have heard of it it is a very exotic place very nice shall we have a look at something else that's very useful something that's very useful to me at two minutes after three o'clock here in the UK what time is it where you are is it in the morning or is it late at night I don't know so one more thing to show you and then I think we might have a surprise visitor mm, that's all I'm saying oh I wonder who it could be I wonder who the surprise visitor could be mm find out in a moment so another very useful thing here we go this is something we use quite often a very useful device can you see it <laughs> this is called a milk whisk milk whisk and this is something you use when you are making a cup of coffee you use it to whisk the milk to make it all frothy and creamy so here is a very useful piece of equipment so normally you would put the milk into the cup you will put the coffee into the cup you will put the sugar into the cup and then you will pour hot water over it and then you will use this to mix everything together but it will also make everything very foamy and frothy so this is one of my favorite pieces of equipment that I have in the kitchen my little milk whisk whisk so whisk can be used as both a noun and a verb so you can use a whisk and you can whisk something with a whisk so there something very useful do you have one of these if you don't I think you should have one especially if you like drinking coffee 
so I wonder I wonder if someone is going to come and join us I wonder if you want mr. Steve to appear you have to wish you have to wish it so to everyone join your hands together and wish wish as hard as you can for mr. Steve come on everyone wish we wish for mr. Steve we wish for mr. Steve come on mr. Steve we wish for you here he is it worked we have mr. Steve coming around the corner right now oh here he is oh my goodness he's very busy today in the garden hello hello mr. Duncan hello mr. Steve you look very very rosy can you see mr. can you see Steve's face he looks very red and rosy I think you've had a very busy day as usual Ooh. I am doing all the garden and house maintenance while mr. Duncan swans around doing live streams I'm having an easy day today I'm just standing here talking to you mr. Steve is doing all the work all the work all the hard work the hard tough graft uh, I've been painting railings today mr. Duncan mr. mr. Steve has been painting I have because uh, the, I've had the viewers seen our yeah. lovely railings <laughs> first, uh, first of all Duncan first of all you don't you don't have to sh <laughs> you don't have to shout oh you? I need to project no, please don't. The world. Please don't. for two reasons one it's horrible and two I think the neighbors are all relaxing in their gardens today tough Oh, I've got us to deal with okay Steve said that not me <laughs> so would you like to say hello to to all of your fans hello all of my fans okay then <laughs> that was good so hello to Mika hello Saeed. to Amtel also Olga Chris uh, Miram Maramim sorry don't know if I pronounced your, your name correctly I there. think that's Mary Am Mary Am that's just so lovely to say hello to you all yes because I don't get let on these live streams very much anymore but mr. Duncan did say to me come on later and I might give you a quick five minutes are we really having this conversation again now can I just say it was Steve that said he wanted to do other things not me a lot of people think that I sacked mr. Steve I did not dismiss mr. Steve can I just get that straight well it was sort of half and half mm. I said I didn't want to do so much because it took up a lot of my time uh, that I needed to spend uh, during the summer months out in the garden yes. and uh, mr. Duncan took that as me meaning I didn't want to do it at all and just threw me off I didn't there was no throwing <laughs> oh mr. Duncan oh what's going on behind your shoulder there's a there's a there's a plant it looks like it's trying to attack you do you like the little sunflower <laughs> this is this is the only sunflower in our garden this is just one solitary sunflower and where did it come from mr. Duncan <laughs> uh, mummy's tummy no because of all the sunflower seeds that you put out for the birds oh yes the birds throw them all over the place and they keep springing up all over the garden so I put one into a pot so this this is actually a sunflower from one of the seeds that I feed to the birds but is it a real one is it one of those plastic dancing <laughs> sunflowers mr. Duncan do you remember those they used to, we used to have these little flowers that would dance to music in the 1980s a long time ago so maybe maybe before your time Guadeloupe I don't as Guadeloupe being funny though he says mr. Steve knows a lot of tools yes well mr. Steve uses a lot of useful tools that's yes, but is Guadeloupe using that in a different meaning no no could well be so we're talking about things that are very useful tools I've got something out of the garden that you asked me to bring mr. Duncan oh yes well a we did bit of a plant we did mention this we have the damson cam there it is the damsons are now on the tree and maybe in a couple of weeks they will be ready to actually pick off the tree and I think Steve has some damsons actually in his hand right now <gasps> there they are I've sacrificed a branch there's some very valuable damsons as you can see they're a type of plum but quite bitter We've spoken about these in the past and there's a lesson is there not mr. Duncan with us making or me rather 
making the dams and jam that is, that is something we did last year we actually made some dams and jam in the kitchen are they ripe yet let me be a test Ooh. oh they're still very bitter they're not ready they're not ready but when they are in say i would say i'd give them another three weeks and then i'll make the jam and here is an example of the damson jam which is quite dark uh, vintage 2017 oh that's quite old so that's two years old it's probably worth a fortune mr duncan it's amazing uh, you know what you should do you should actually make some damson jam and then sell it in the village i know i could get at least two pounds three pounds a pot i think more than i think five, i think you could sell this for five pounds each pot you could you could make a fortune artisan jam craft. why don't we put it up for auction what you actually say is craft jam so that's what that's the word that we use nowadays yes. it's become very trendy to say craft before anything that's homemade or artisan yes well craft is is the one that's now popular mm. so craft cider or craft yes. jam Hold we know somebody don't we a company that went on television oh no said that yes they were making specialist bread and they call themselves artisan bread makers that's very pretentious it's very pretentious very pretentious so look at that it's some there lovely damsons there straight from the damson tree i usually get about 24 pots of jam off all the fruit and i give some away to neighbors but next year because i'm going to have it severely pruned because it's far too big we may not get any damsons next year. So, so next year, it looks as if we're going to have to cut the damson tree quite short because it's gone crazy this year. It's gone mad. It's nearly touching the house. We've had so much rain, and now we've had we've had some sunshine as well. Everything is growing really quickly. So there is some lovely damsons from the damson tree. Anything you want me to? Get? Hello, Jeff. Uh, um, yes, that's right. I am going to get the fireplace ready for winter. In fact. In fact, how perceptive of you, uh, Jeff, because we had the chimney swept this week. We had a man, he came and he stuck something up my flue. He stuck it, he got something in his hand and he shoved it straight up there, didn't he? He kept shoving and pushing and pushing. He gave it a good clean out. He gave, he gave my flue a good clean out. So now I can light a fire underneath it and the smoke will escape safely. So yes, we had our chimney swept this week. We Clean. did, yes. Would £45 like... pounds it cost to have our chimney swept. You can convert <laughs> that into your own currency. <laughs> I think it was quite reasonable, actually. OK. Uh, because we don't want a chimney fire. So are you advertising for him? Well, I didn't tell you his name. If you would like your chimney swept by our chimney cleaner... Uh, we could uh, uh, gardens feed the soul says that we could sell the jam and distribute the proceeds to charity yes we could <laughs> we could we could you could just distribute it to me because are cause you an official charity mr I, duncan i am a charity i think I, I might do that i might become a charity mr duncan's english charity wouldn't that be good it's very hot and bright out here today mr duncan so is that is that a jar so it's that... a jar yes so this is uh there was some jam in here that I bought from the shops okay and of course we keep the jam jars and uh, we can reuse them to make our own jam not many people make their own jam these days okay. but I do a simple yes would have sufficed well you know me I have to Bec expand on all my explanations I'm, I'm trying to do something here I'm trying to do a bit you see a bit for the camera so so we, this would be useless for that Yes, because it's just a twist off. Yes, so that twist is, is something you can easily open with your hand. But sometimes if you want to open a can or a tin, you have to use one of these. And this is another one of my wonderful little tools, a useful thing. And this is a tin opener. I'm sure people know that that's a tin opener, Mr Duncan. They, they might know what it is, but they might not know the English words for it. OK. Yeah, we, we teach English here, you see. A tin opener. And there it is, tin opener. So you might say tin opener or can opener. So it depends if it's British English or American English. We often say tin opener. But in American English, you might often hear 
can opener. So this particular thing is a very useful item. Most people have one of these in their kitchen somewhere and this is old fashioned. So nowadays you can actually get these but they are actually electric. But this is an old fashioned can opener or tin opener. But it works and we don't have to replace the batteries. That's it. It has no batteries. It doesn't run off solar panel. You just use your fingers. Or you could just stick a knife in the top Franco. and rip it open. Franco says, it's nice to see you here again, Steve. Thank you, Franco. We are having a fantastic weekend, by the way. The weather is amazing. It's Now, normally, because this weekend it is a public holiday. So on Monday, tomorrow, everyone will be off work, yes. including you. Well, <laughs> technically, but I will be working in the garden for oh. nothing. Oh. But, but Are you, you going to pay me, Mr. Duncan, for my work in the garden? Uh, not really, no. I didn't think that was part of the... No, I didn't think so. Was that part of the agreement? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think so. Maybe you can help me. Maybe you can help me, Mr. Duncan. I think we know that's not happening. Yes. You'd never both, happened. Never put, will. No. All right. <laughs> You're making some very blunt points. You did put some washing in this morning, so I'll, I'll give you that. Yes. Apparently, some of the viewers are noticing that there are insects crawling over the lens well I think they've gone now I was going to point that out but I thought better of it because when I normally point those sort of things out you tell me not to well that that one was <laughs> but that was an interesting one maybe, maybe the the insects are trying to get involved with the live stream anything else you want me to do during my brief moment on camera well you can just smile and look happy look beautiful well let's not go too far <laughs> <laughs> so there are many use what well, I'm going to ask you the same question Mr Steve Mr Steve what is your most favorite tool or device or something you really love to use something that is very useful to have around well very interesting what do you mean anywhere in the garden perhaps <laughs> or uh, well any anywhere anything just name a thing a useful device just name something a laptop the sun no a laptop <laughs> laptops are, are yeah They're but something devices. something you like using you enjoy you don't enjoy using a laptop no that's true I'm, i don't know what i mean what sort of things do i use mr duncan i can't think of anything i would say in the garden it has to be it has to be the hedge trimmer Ah, the electric hedge trimmer. So the thing for cutting the hedge and also trimming your bushes. Can you see that bush behind us? That one there. No, because you're you, in the way. Am I? There we go. I duck down. That there. one. That one. If you look at Mr. Duncan's uh, streams from about two or three weeks ago, you will notice that that bush is a lot bigger than it is now. I have severely cut it back. Uh, in order to make the garden neater and give us a better view and you a better view as well what's mr duncan doing mr duncan hates it when i cut back the bushes i was i was what i was doing then was showing the bush but i think you were in the way <laughs> no i did move i moved over slightly that's very good you're getting good at this so that's it steve uh, i'm going to show some more useful things and then I think we will we will go. So I'm going to be here for about another 15, maybe 20 minutes. And then I'll be saying goodbye. So thanks, Steve. I've got 15 minutes to do a lot of secret things Mr. Duncan doesn't know about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then we're going to have then we're going to have some tea cakes, are we not, Mr. Duncan? We are having tea cakes today. We are. Well, I've been learning a new song. That's what I've been doing. Have you heard my dulcet tones? I could hear some singing. I wasn't sure if it was singing or next door neighbour's dog was feeling unwell again. Support. That's what I like. Support from Mr Duncan. I always get it. You do. I give you plenty of support, Mr Duncan. I wish to have some in return. Yes, of course. Maybe well, we'll let me just say goodbye to everybody. Uh, I've, yes, we do have a big garden. Well, it's not that big. It, it, well, I suppose it's, there's a lot of bushes everywhere. It takes a lot of maintenance. Mr. Steve spends a lot of time trimming his bush. As does the house. Uh, a church key is good to open the old drinks. Oh. Interesting. Oh, I see. So I think because because church keys have a very big the, the, the part that you hold with your fingers 
I think you yes. can actually put that over the bottle. And, oh, yes. And... Tss, of course. Open the bottle. Would it be a Budweiser for you? Uh, <laughs> Jeff, well, would why, it be a Budweiser? Why would you say that? Because Jeff is American. Well, could, there are, I'm sure there are lots of other beers. I'm typecasting you as a Budweiser drinker. Used to be very popular here, didn't it, Budweiser? I think it's not so popular now. I'm not sure. I, I don't know. I don't know what the statistics are of, of the consumption of Budweiser. Well, when I was a student, it was very popular. <laughs> I don't have it on me. <laughs> uh, but now people tend to go for real ale, don't they? Yes. Craft, and, uh, craft beer. Craft beers. So beers that are made in very small breweries. Uh, and so if you go around the country from place to place, you will find that there are lots of different local beers. So there. I've never been so fit, Mr Duncan. I don't think since I was 18. I've been running, I've been skipping, I've been doing the garden. I don't think I've ever been so fit for, for decades. Really? Yes, yes, I am fighting fit. You, you, you do look well, I and must say. And I've shed the years, I've just peeled away. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure about that. Uh, anyway, I'm full of confidence today, Mr Duncan, although I wasn't early. I was a bit depressed, wasn't I, early? S yeah. Mr Duncan was accusing me of being a bit morose. Steve was, morose. On the, Steve was on the roof of the house, standing on the ledge, and he was going to do it. He was going to, and I said, don't do it, Steve, don't do it. Don't paint those railings. Well, don't do it there. Sorry? <laughs> Sorry, are we are we on the same live stream, you and I? Somebody just said I've got my own channel. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Steve had his own channel. He made two videos and that was nine years ago. And that's all he did. Doing this isn't easy. It looks easy. I make it look easy, don't I? But it isn't. Right, Mr. Duncan, I'm going to go back upstairs. I'm okay. going to well, I'm going to go into the kitchen and I'm going to prepare a cup of tea and two tea cakes. Yes. Morose. There was a word I just used. Morose. 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 You're feeling a bit sort of down in the dumps, a so bit sort of low. If you feel morose, you are gloomy. Gloomy, morose. Go on, do you? But then you know. Do your gloomy look. No, that's not very good. No, this is gloomy. Bit of an exaggeration. I can't do gloomy when I'm talking to the world, Mr Duncan. How can I? It's impossible. You can't be gloomy when you're doing a live stream. It's hard to be gloomy on a day like this. Ooh, greetings what? from Laos. Laos. What? I haven't got Laos. What are you talking about? <laughs> Laos. That's a word we use here to describe uh, a horrible bug that uh, infects you and, and makes you scratch. Uh, so uh, I hope that's not pronounced like that, Mr Duncan. Yes, I am full of beans uh, today, and uh, the garden is full of beans because I've been planting them everywhere. Uh, there's, a, there's a beanstalk. <laughs> Jack and the beanstalk. It's going to sprout up and going to climb to the top. <laughs> what, what is Steve? Been, uh, what have you put in this jam? Oh, I've put are all you, sorts uh, of things in that jam, are Mr you Duncan. Are you eating this jam or sniffing it? I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, well, all sorts of plants can be grown in the garden and they can find their way into all sorts of things like jam. <laughs> no, it's illegal to grow uh, to grow uh, certain plants, isn't it, for uh, recreational use yeah. in this country. Uh, could... You need a lot of light. Ah, oh, Mr Duncan, I've just thought all this light from all these... We could grow, the... we could grow all sorts of plants in your studio. Right. Put all your lights on full, Mr Duncan. We could make a huge profit. We could get everybody hooked. In the Much Wenlock area. Is I think people know what I'm talking about. Is anyone still watching? <laughs> oh, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't do anything illegal, Mr. Duncan. See, now you that. know why. Now you know why I gently pushed Steve away because of this. This is this is my evidence. What could happen? Anything could happen when I go live on stream. I'm even talking about taking recreational drugs now and growing them in the garden. Well, I'm not going to do that because the neighbours would uh, would dob us in. If you dob somebody in, that means that you would tell somebody. Uh, to the like to the police, you would report them. Report them exactly. Dob them in. You would. You would. Uh, you would. You would tell somebody that they've done wrong. <laughs> that they've done wrong. Oh, Mr. Duncan is spitting his drink out. <sighs> I just want to know what 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 you've what what have you done? Have you have you eaten something? I've been singing, Mr. Duncan. You know how it cheers me up. Yes, <laughs> you are the only person it does cheer up. I've been watching Shirley Bassey. Back in a heyday in the late 70s. Fabulous, fabulous. Anyway, I'm going to go now. 
before I put off the rest of your viewers here's here's something that's very useful oh mr. Duncan you know I could talk all day and all night by, by Steve I'm not I'm not quite sure what that was but there there was mr. Steve Wow <laughs> he's still got he's still got the tape over his mouth Ow. oh that, 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 that looked very painful so there is Steve he's going now <laughs> could, could you do that slightly quieter well there there was another memorable moment of YouTube occurring sorry about that it was good to see mr. Steve again oh that's very nice <laughs> I don't know what to say after that to be honest it takes a lot to leave me speechless trust me but I'm I'm pretty speechless after that <laughs> yes Simona says I think mr. Steve has been in the sunlight for too long I think maybe it has boiled his brain in his skull I think so maybe <laughs> hey thank you very much for your company today I've got a couple of more things to show you and then I'm going to say goodbye because already we are approaching Harpers three I can't believe how quickly this has gone today it's gone by so quickly so you just saw me using something something very useful but here is something else that is also very useful something that I use quite often around my studio can you see it can you hear it this is called velcro and it is something I use a lot in my studio especially when I want to tie my cables together to stop them from making too much mess so that particular thing is called velcro and the way this thing was invented was quite by chance it was actually invented just by chance it is actually based on something that happens in nature so velcro look up the history of velcro it is quite fascinating the way in which velcro became invented is very fascinating look that up later on the internet and find out what the history of velcro is and I tell you now you will be amazed you will be blown away you really will thank you very much for your company today it's been an interesting one Guadalupe says oh I don't want this to finish well you know what they say all good things must come to an end eventually including me yes velcro apparently in Spanish velcro is pronounced exactly the same velcro so yes velcro is something very useful it is very useful when you want to fix two things together Some people don't like the sound of velcro they don't actually like the sound of velcro huh, there is actually a little bee can you see the bee there is a bee on the sunflower isn't that lovely I would love to zoom in on the bee I wonder if I can let's see if we can zoom in on the bee I will try to zoom in it might not work so please excuse me if it doesn't work there is the sunflower oh isn't that lovely and if you look very closely you can see there is actually a bee sitting on the sunflower there it is ah <gasps> look at that live is live can be there are two bees in fact I think that's a fly that's actually a fly no I don't want to look at flies flies are horrible say goodbye to the fly 
Bye bye fly. Bye bye. Well, that was interesting. Did you find that interesting? <laughs> quite quite likely not. So I'm going in a moment and there you could see the the lovely little bee. Isn't that nice next to me? It's like a David Attenborough program without David Attenborough. Thank you very much for your lovely company. Thank you, Irene. Thank you also to Luz. Thank, thank you to Grissino. Yes, we can use Velcro on clothes. Yes, Velcro is very useful when you want to put clothing together. Thank you also to Mula. In which case can we use the word beautiful? Well, beautiful can be used for anything that you find attractive. So something that is attractive to you can be described as beautiful. You look beautiful today. This sunflower is beautiful. Something that is attractive or pleasant to look at can be described as beautiful a beautiful sunflower a beautiful day a beautiful English teacher maybe not I'm going in a moment thank you very much to Guadeloupe thank you also to Luz Jamelia thank you very much for watching me today don't forget I am back next week every weekend you can find me live on YouTube from 12 p.m. midday on Saturday and on Sunday 2 p.m. UK time and hopefully if I have time there will be a new full English lesson on Wednesday as well so I'm hoping to get that done if not you can come round and personally smack my bottom if you want to get in touch also you can get in touch on Facebook you can follow me also through the internet wonderful technology you can email me if you want to say hello in an email you can Facebook email and also if you want to make a donation to help my work continue forever and ever and maybe one day you never know one day we might actually have every day live streams imagine that imagine if I could come onto the internet every day and do a live stream do you think that's a good idea would you like me to do a daily live stream imagine that if I was actually on the internet live every single day would you watch me would you like that we will have to wait and see what yes mr. Duncan you are a beautiful teacher thank you very much for that flattery will get you everywhere I think so I'm going now thanks a lot for your company today I've really enjoyed it if you are if you are doing something nice this weekend do it safely have fun enjoy yourself and most importantly of all smile as much as you can this is mr. Duncan in the birthplace of English saying thanks for watching me today I've really enjoyed it it's been lovely sharing my time with you in the Sun on a Sunday afternoon thank you to Valentin a wonderful teacher of English I would say bye lots of thanks for letting Steve appear today <laughs> it's very kind of you very lovely yes maybe mr. Steve will join us next week I don't know it depends it depends on his behavior I will be back with you next Saturday don't forget next Saturday from midday UK time and also don't forget it's the last day of August next Saturday and then we will be into September as summer slowly fades away that's not very nice thank you Jeff Thank you Jeff watching in the United States thank you Mika see you later thank you Martha thank you Ablan thank you very much if you want to see me every day here on YouTube you can send a donation and who knows I might be here all the time you won't be able to get rid of me 
thank you Beatrice thank you also to Oggy and Serene Snow thank you very much thank you also to Rupesh does this program happen every Saturday yes every Saturday and also every Sunday every week Saturday and Sunday I am here live on YouTube talking English to you this is Mr Duncan for the last time today saying thanks for watching and of course you know what's coming next yes you do until the next time we meet <laughs> did you hear the Robin then even the Robin was saying goodbye and of course ta-ta for now <laughs>